What is going on guys, welcome back. In this video today, we're going to learn how to set up SSH for GitHub for the authentication so that you no longer have to use access tokens. So let us get right into it. All right, so this is going to be a quick tutorial. The goal is to see how we can use SSH for authentication on GitHub, which means we're no longer going to use access tokens. We don't have to create them to update them all the time. We don't have to copy paste them every time we want to do something. We can just create a public private key pair and use that for authentication. We upload the public key and authenticate ourselves with a private key. This is the goal of the video today. And this here is a private repo. So how would I go ahead and clone this now? Usually you could go and say here, go to settings and create an access token, then do then take this HTTPS URL and then say something like access token at github.com and just use a git clone command to do that. What we're going to do instead today is we're going to use SSH and for this we're going to need a public private key pair. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open up a terminal and I'm going to type the following command SSH dash keygen to generate a key pair. Then I'm going to say dash T and I'm going to provide the type ED25519 and then dash capital C and I'm going to provide here my social at neural9.com email, which is what I use for GitHub. So this is how I do this. It's going to ask me now, where do I want to create this key? If you already have a key that is named ID underscore ED25519, which can very well be the case, you can also change the path. In my case here now, I'm going to say home neural nine dot SSH slash, and let's call this GitHub, uh, GitHub key or something. This is going to now create a public key and a private key. I can provide a passphrase if I want to. I'm going to leave it uh, empty for now for this video today. And now I have my key. So basically, if I go to dot SSH, you will see that here I have GitHub key dot pop and GitHub key. So this is the private key. This is the secret key that only I'm going to possess. And this is the thing that I upload to GitHub. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go here to my account. I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to go to SSH and GPG keys. I'm going to go to SSH keys and click on new SSH key. Then I'm going to call this GitHub key. I'm going to say it's going to be an authentication key. And here now I have to pass the key. So I'm going to go back to dot SSH. I'm going to open up my ED or actually what was it? Uh, GitHub key dot pop. I'm going to copy all of this. I'm going to paste it in this box. Actually, now I clicked some link. There you go. That is the key. This is the public key. I'm going to add it to my account. And this now is my authentication key. And what this means is I have to have the corresponding private key, which only I possess in order for this connection to be accepted. That is basically the setup. This is how it goes. This is super, super easy. And now I can use that to access my repositories. So let me close the full screen. Let me close the terminal. Let me go to my repository here, which is the my private repo. And here now I'm going to go to SSH. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to open up my command line. I'm going to go to my tutorial directory. And in here now I'm going to say git clone. And I'm going to pass this. So right now it asks me for the fingerprint. Okay, so it says it doesn't accept the key. Let me see what happens if I say SSH add dash L. We don't have an authentication agent. Okay, so let me type eval and then the commands SSH agent dash S. And then I'm going to say SSH add dash L has no identity. So let's say SSH add and then the home neural nine dot SSH GitHub key like this identity added. So this might also be a step you need to go through adding the identity here with SSH dash add. Uh, and then if I run this again, we can see I have it here. And now I can try to run the same command. So git clone that thing. And you can see it cloned my repo using the SSH key pair. So I didn't have to set up any tokens. I don't have to do that at all now. So I have my private key. I have the public key uploaded and now I can just use them. So I can go into the repository, my private repo. I can create some main.txt file. I can say hello world. 
I can commit that I can say git add main.txt I can say git commit. Hello commit. And I can say git push all of this will be done using SSH using my public and private key pair. This is much more convenient also more secure since we're using SSH. So this is really the better way I would say to do that. I'm sure there's probably some use cases where the tokens are more reasonable, but I now I'm going to use uh, this authentication method. It's just much more convenient. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.